another episode of Sundays with Sally. Hope you've got your permission slip. We are out on the water up here in Maine today. I'm with Heidi from Time Zero, and we are talking Time Zero, and this can do a lot of stuff. So I wanted to bring in the pro here, talk about it, give us, first of all, what's the, the, the highest level overview you can give us of Time Zero, and what does it do? So it's uh, a navigation software that records the bottom while you drive around. It hooks up to a multitude of Furuno and other sensors, uh, just to give you a fully customizable charting experience. Awesome. So, in our case, we're out here with Dermy on Leviathan, and we are doing bottom mapping. So these guys, we're working for, you know, we're looking at the bottom, we're looking for lobster, we're looking for gear, we're looking for all that kind of stuff out there. So we can look on here, and she goes ahead and takes the, uh, the wheel on the chart. You can see we're actually charting as we're going along, and this is using the WASP system into the actual PC itself, correct? Yes. Now obviously we're rocking, we're rolling around a little bit, but we're gonna be able to get about four times the depth for our, our width of beam with the lots. Was that, was that so about? We get about twice the depth of water okay. um, in the beam width. Okay. We're mapping 224 points across a 120 degree swath. So even across that beam swath, 220 points, we're getting all of these accurate points. So as we look up here onto the screen here, we're also getting bottom hardness and things like that, right? Bottom hardness and um, depth shading. Oh, okay. So there you go. So we change this all up. We can look at the different views that we can get here with this. So we've got our depth shading. So basically, essentially, making your own chart as you go for this charting information, right? So we can kind of come in here. We can start to look as you uh, scroll over there and see some of the other things that we've done out there. You're getting your own bathy charts kind of as we go, right? You're, you're able to make your own charts so you're not relying on somebody else's information and this will continue to update as we go, right? Yes, it will continue to bat the bottom as we drive around. Uh, it also comes with a large database installed beforehand. The Adam PBG module allows the customer to map the bottom as they drive around, and it also allows them to get the 3D high resolution database for that area. So before they've ever recorded a PBG uh, point, they have a fully loaded high resolution database. Um, and so here's a little look at our main bottom here. So that's that's main. We're up here, obviously, we're in main. And this is what you're including right out of the gate before yeah. they've even done any mapping. So even if they don't do a WASP setup on their boat, they're still going to be able to get all of these contours and all of this yeah. data here. And, and even without the WASP, they can do um, a single beam recording with any O183 or enemy A2000 sensor or they can do a multi-beam without the back scatter or bottom harness okay. using the DFF 3D from Bruno. Got it. We are also fully compatible with the Bruno DRS NXT radars and the Bruno Black Box Network sounders. So you guys play really nice with all that. We'll be able to share that. And you can do up to three displays per station, correct? So now you're able to take basically one unit, one, one processor, and we can do any size display, basically, yes. whatever is going to fit their needs for this, right? Yes, very customizable for, for the customer, fishing or recreational. I understand. That, it should also highlight, this isn't just for fishing. You're going to find this on a lot of the bigger boats. And if you guys are just out there fishing and you want to have the most knowledge of what's going on under your boat in that bottom, or if you want to be out there and you want to be more fuel efficient to know where it is, where you're going, where what those bottom depths are, and how quickly to get out there, you're going to see that savings and be able to get out there quicker with all of this information, yeah. right? So that's awesome. Great, great. Uh, what other what other features should we be highlighting here and talking about? Obviously, we're we're talking about the, the wasp and being able to download those things, and we can go ahead and now we can set up also manual contours, right? So if they want to be looking in a, a certain depth for a certain species, or if they're looking on the bottom, they all want to see between five and 10 fathoms or whatever, we can go ahead and clean that chart all up and then just put in certain fathoms, correct? Correct, so we can um, use several modes to view the PVG data. Our automatic mode, which as you zoom around on the screen, the colors change based on the minimum and maximum depth on the screen. Oh, okay. Um, within this um, color window, um, you can put it into a manual mode, which allows you to adjust um, the slider to 
your just what you want to see. Um, we can also, like you said, adjust those contour lines by right clicking on the contour lines down in the corner, and we can set up uh, more or less contour lines in an automatic mode, or we can put it in manual and really um, define what really fine the scale too. is. Uh, I'm going to put it back into the automatic mode. Um, we also have a discrete color palette, which allows you to fully customize your color display experience for how you want to fish. You can um, adjust the scale and then add in and customize the actual colors and what those colors represent for depth. So it's a really customizable, tweakable, tunable system for anybody, really. For anybody, really. Really, we can really dial this in and I think that's a really good overview for this. I think if you guys want to see more, Time Zero's got a really good YouTube channel that's worth checking out that they really dive real deep into a lot of the stuff they do. And if you guys show enough interest, we'll do another video. We'll kind of log in. One of the features that they're able to do with this is we can remote log into boats as long as there's an internet connection. And we can start showing some of the other functions and features that this can do for us, right? Like getting an on-boat training without having to drive to the boat. Exactly. So anywhere, as long as there's an internet connection, we can go in and we can get in there with Team Viewer and check it all out, right? Yeah, really t talk the customer through their machine setup. Awesome. Well, Heidi, thank you very much for your thank time. You, Chris. And uh, as always, be sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics, and at Time Zero to stay up to date with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends.